New reports have surfaced that the Chicago Bulls might, in fact, have a new plan that will ship off Zach Levine. We're going to be talking about this new plan and if it would work for the Chicago Bulls to trade Zach Levine and what it might look like if it fails and Zach Levine is still with our Chicago Bulls. This is your host, Rico Greenhow, and this is another episode of Bulls Digest. Before we go ahead and jump into it, I wanted to let you guys know that 78 0.3% of you guys that watch the videos are not subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the latest news and happenings around your Chicago Bulls. Without further ado, guys, let's jump into the hot topic of the day here, which is this new plan to trade Zach Levine, uh, which is revealed. Uh, this comes on the heels of actually what Joe Cali had to say. He is a contributor for the Chicago Tribune. You often can catch him on the sidelines uh, for Chicago Bulls games as well. This is exactly what he had to say, guys, and he is essentially saying that, look, the hope is that the, se- the two second-round picks the Bulls got from trading DeRozan can now be attached to Zach Levine in a package. Um, the, The hope is that a team would now be more, you know, wanting to go ahead and entertain a trade for Zach Levine now that we are going to throw in some picks. And then I love what is immediately said after this, you know, with this whole notion, there's no market and, you know, nobody wants him and everything else. It, it, it puts into the point, guys, that look, in 2022, 2023, um, he played in 77 out of 82 games. And then also, too, when you look at the 2021-2022 season, he played in 67 out of 82 games as well, guys. And so, look, I, I think that these are some terrific points, um, you know, which kind of brings up what I had actually asked on the channel about do you want to attach an asset? Do you not? Do you want him to, to play out his contract or, or what that looks like, guys? And, you know, for as much is made about Zach Levine, let's be clear. I mean, the guy has not done anything to his teammates that we know about. He hasn't done anything to the organization that we know about as well. And, you know, he's gone out there and he has put up some numbers when he is out there. Is he an injury um, concern? Absolutely. Is he a guy that doesn't play terrific defense? Sure. But there's a lot of guys in the NBA that they can do one thing or the other. It's very rare that you're finding players that can do Uh, both at an elite level guys and I mean there's what I mean by that is there's some guys that are exceptional scorers and they're not very good defenders there's some guys that are are pretty good defenders and not necessarily the greatest uh, scorers in the world as well same thing with rebounding there's some players that go out here they can get you some boards there's some that just they cannot I mean their other strengths are tied into getting buckets and defending I mean so you're never ever necessarily going to get a complete player guys and so that's the one thing that we must look at in any Zach Levine deal or situation guys I think that you know the Chicago Bulls put a lot of financial capital into Zach Levine's potential all right and I think that now that we see that Zach Levine is not going to get that maybe not get to that potential I think that he's taking a lot of unfair criticism to to say the least guys and I think that it's not fair to Zach and I just feel like you know it's been a lot of situations surrounding Zach Levine which have led to this all right now I'm not saying that it's things that he hasn't done that hasn't led to this but look there was a stat that was thrown out here um you know shout out to locked on bulls and you know pat the designer and this also too came up in one of our comments on the channel as well but 77 out of 110 players that i think zach levine has has played with all right on these teams out here are no longer in the nba uh and this goes into what i was talking about a video or two ago there's really been a perfect storm around why this Zach Levine situation has not worked. The way the team has been constructed, um, his market value at the time. Uh, obviously, I just pointed out some of the teammates that he's played with. Um, he did have to go through a couple coaches uh, when he first came over, you know, with Fred Hoiberg and that whole situation, guys. So there's a lot of different things that are going against Zach Levine to get to this point. And so I just want to throw out that narrative that, you know, I think it's ridiculous that Zach Levine uh, cannot be traded. All right. And I'm thinking back 
of Gilbert Arenas and his situation, guys. I think that that if if the Wizards were able to get off of a contract like that, I think that absolutely if the Chicago Bulls wanted to, they could have got off of Zach Levine as well. And so this whole notion about Zach Levine not being tradable is ridiculous. And also, too, I don't think that he's done anything. At least there's nothing that we know of that he's done so this is just like a a phenomenon to me I've never seen this before uh in the in the NBA where a guy is just this untradeable guys and so as we go further into this one one of the things that the Chicago Bulls may face is that Zach Levine may have to stay with the Chicago Bulls and if that is the case guys I must say that there's some people that said hey I think that he would uh negatively affect the young players and the youth movement um, on the team. And I don't think that. I, I really don't think that. And in fact, guys, I'm going to bring up something that also was thrown out there. And this had to do with something I believe he threw up um, on his social media. But, uh, you know, it talks about a, a cryptic post uh, amid trade rumors. But I, I think that this right here shows us a lot of who Zach Levine is, guys. And so, look, it, it, he says, look, stay present and locked in. And I love that about Zach Levine. And I think that for all the stuff that's surrounding Zach Levine, the fact that he's saying this right here um, lets you know that, guys, he's recovered from the surgery, okay? And if we do have to go with Zach Levine coming back here and Zach Levine saying, look, it's not going to work, but being the professional that I am, he's going to come out, he's going to play hard, he's going to play his value up, and then he's going to move on. I don't see him being an issue where he he stops the growth movement that is going on with the Chicago Bulls. Like, I don't think that he stops that youth movement. I don't think he takes away from Kobe. I don't think that he takes away from DeSumo. And I don't necessarily think that there's that notion that he could go out here and just chase numbers. I don't think that he's necessarily going to want to chase numbers either, guys, because you think about it, one of the narratives around Zach Levine is that he doesn't uh, affect winning. And, you know, that's one of the things that I think that he wants to probably show that he can do to increase his trade value. So it's not going to make a whole bunch of sense for him to just come in, put up numbers, and then the Chicago Bulls lose. Like, I think that he's going to have to show that he can help you win games. And I think that another stat that was thrown out there was something like, you know, out of active players that have played, you know, 500 plus games or something like that, he had the worst um, losing percentage. And I think that, you know, to increase his value, he's certainly going to have to show at least a small sample size uh, to move on from that. And so, guys, that leads me to what was last posted on the channel and you guys let me know what you guys are thinking. This was something that we put up, um, just kind of asking the community, like, you know, what would you want to see happen with Levine? Do you want to keep Levine, let him play out his contract? Did you guys want to immediately trade him and attach an asset? Would you have a chance to do that uh, if this report is true? Did you want to wait until the trade deadline? So that's letting him go ahead and play up his uh, value a little bit and seeing if we can do something without attaching an asset. Um, do we want to trade him with no assets? And then it's not trade him unless we get a first round pick. When we went ahead and stopped this, it said no assets attached, guys. And so that right there would dispute this report that was put out there by Joe Cowley. So let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments as we continue to go around in this merry-go-round with Zach. <laughs> All right, guys, getting off the merry-go-round, and as usual, even though we don't know what we are going to do with Zach Levine, I'm still saying, go Bulls, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, peace, peace.